If I could do one thing. I've done a lot of things. I've been in a lot of places. I, I got no regrets. Sexual detergent was on the verge of superstardom. But um, at that time, the one thing that I wanted to do more than anything, middle management. But then frontman Neil Davis began to experiment with the wrong crowd. So Neil asked me to get him a job with my employer, and, um, and I did. And, you know, he, he got into some stuff there, you know? And, um, you know, he's kind of playing around and, and experimenting, I thought. And it wasn't until after the first week that I noticed he was a bit um, off. I'm back in the office, right? And people just start, I mean, the whole, the whole uh, environment is unlike anything I've ever felt before, you know? If you've seen Top Gun, it's like that shit. Neil? Guy's nuts! I was the rock star of temping. Let's keep it real, all right? The boss had never seen anything like me. I'm confident in that. Neil's work wasn't all that good. But I kept him employed because I thought he might have let me jam with him sometime. Did he? No. No, he did not. When we return, the epic confrontation that shaped the future of the band forever. We tried so hard for so long to make it, and then he just decided to go crazy. <laughs> well, we weren't gonna let that happen. Hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> um, I thought maybe after we get done with rehearsal, we could play a little rock band. <laughs> hey. We didn't bring you here to rehearse, Neil. And we didn't bring you here to play video games or eat brie or drink peanut. <laughs> You'd never pair a brie with a pinot, Derek. I brought a nice Edam. So he went down this path, you know, like a little bunny um, through the woods um, with no hole to jump through. This is an intervention, Neil. All of your friends, we've come together to try and help you understand how this new thing in your life is destroying everything you ever worked for, bro. This new thing? What are you talking about, destroying everything you've ever worked for? He was my best friend, bro. <laughs> in college, when he didn't have a place to stay, he slept with me until he got sleep apnea. Then he slept in the bathroom. The job. You think all of this is the job, Derek? You're barking up the wrong tree, dude. It's destroying your music, okay? It's scaring your friends. <laughs> you gotta kick this thing, man. And we're gonna help you, all right? I mean, what's next, Neil? You're gonna try and tell us you're gonna quit the band? <laughs> dude, it's a temp assignment. I I'm just trying it out. I can quit anytime I want. Then quit. I said anytime I want. And I don't want to right now. <laughs> you know what? I don't have to take this right now, okay? I've got a huge project at work. At work where they believe in me, where people are first, and I am an essential part of a matrix organization. He helped me out a lot with this, and his hair. He had really good hair. I mean, you've seen his hair, and it hit me that a lot of the great stars have hair like that. You know, it really made me think if I had hair like that, things could be a lot different. Such a waste. You shouldn't waste hair like that. I'm out of here. You can keep the cheese. He put a piece of cheese on my body, okay? I have an acupuncturist. I have a colonic technician. I have a Pilates instructor. I have a hypnotherapist. Neil quit the band to pursue his dream. We just, uh, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't save him. You know, there was no amount of um, carrots, if you will, uh, that would save this, this poor little bunny. On the day of his big presentation, Neil's dream imploded as disaster after disaster struck. First, his computer crashed. When we isolated what caused the crash, we saw it was a downloaded program. From a site showcasing some rather adult and shockingly inappropriate content. I have been making some home improvements and I wanted to show Neil what materials I had used. 
who, who would have known that hardwood.com wouldn't be a flooring site? Neil took his computer and attempted to head to the local computer store to find someone to restore his hard drive. This was not to be. I have no idea who might have slashed his tires. Read that. See me in my office. When Neil tried to salvage the last copy of his report, he violated HR policy again. Oh, that sounds way jammed up in there. Sally, I think I can figure this out. Be careful. Ah! Oh, God! Oh! If it's too hot, you could take off your shirt and wrap it around your hand. <laughs> It was quite a show. Neil's presentation. I blame myself. I told him to write about what he knows. Oh God, I even told him to hum a few bars. I meant to improvise. This company is not hip enough. It's not, uh, it's not young enough, huh? You know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't rock. That's our problem. Huh? We gotta rock. We gotta learn how to rock hard. You know, you gotta, you gotta just get in there, man, and just, just feel it, you know? Just, just, it's like, bam, 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 bam. Oh my God. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, after Neil's presentation, he, he came over to my place and he was a wreck, you know. I mean, I, I tried to, to bring him down, but he was just inconsolable. And he said he was so ashamed that he quit. Oh, we fired him. Well, he even made a pass at me, which was really awkward. I mean, I only date musicians. I got no regrets. Please, please turn the camera off. Why are we talking about Neil? Okay, that guy's nuts. We're talking about me. That's the interview. You know what? This interview's over. When we return... Your prayers have been answered, gentlemen. I'm here to play Jesus. I'm back, and I'm ready to rock. Neil unsuccessfully tries to rejoin the band. And Sexual Detergent moved on to record their Grammy-winning album, Rinse and Repeat. I don't have time for this shit. I'm, um, <clears throat> I plead the fifth. The name Sexual Detergent, now we made it into a clothing line. I think that we're gonna make a condom line and we're gonna make a detergent line. But you know, clean sex, I think is the wave of the future. Those guys really hit on a zeitgeist. Sexual Detergent. I wish my wife would use more of that. It's not about music and finals anymore. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, every show, I'm gonna hand a guitar to somebody and it's gonna be the closest thing to a religious experience that they will ever have because that is the power of music and because that is sexual detergent. <laughs>